So today we're going to be going from our part stash and see if we can knock together a kick-ass rocking guitar. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yes, good people, welcome back to the Guitar Manifesto channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. So we're in the workshop. I've just been going through my part stash just to see what I've got knocking about because I want to put together a guitar that I want to use in videos for doing sort of pedal reviews, that kind of thing. I want something that's cheap that you can sort of make yourself at home with parts you've got lying around or bits off eBay, whatever. First of all, I've got this strap body. Now from memory, this was from like a 98, 97 Chinese strap. So it's got the full thickness body. It is a hefty lump of wood. She has got a, a really cool patina, loads of chips, dings, you know, that kind of stuff looks pretty badass. My initial thought for this was to make a vandalism strap, but I've done that before. I've done it many times before, and to be honest, yeah, I fancy doing something a bit different. I know on a Strat, basically every setup's been done. I'm quite a simple guitarist in terms of guitars that I like. I like a humbucker in a bridge position. Neck, I do like a single coil or a P90, but I'm not opposed to P90s on the bridge neck. Single coils on a bridge don't really do it for me, unfortunately. I was looking for a pick guard in my stash and I come across this four ply taut pick guard which I think looks pretty cool it's got the SSS set up so three single coil pickups but it wouldn't take a lot to trim them out and maybe stick a humbucker in there in the bridge position and I think with a black contrast that look pretty darn good so yeah I think that pick guard will work out pretty good it's already got a tremolo on the body with all the springs and whatever on the back so we're pretty good for that now necks, I've got two necks not lying around. I've got the original Robster Strat neck with the large headstock. The Robster one come off a 99 Chinese strap, which should pretty much fit straight on, 21 frets, and it's got the large headstock. Already got some generic tuners in there, but I've got some cool tuners that I've saved for something. I've also got this Telecaster neck. I think it was off a Phasey guitar. I got this in a job lot that somebody sent me. The only trouble with it, Somebody's tried sanding the neck heel there, so it's not exactly perfectly even. It needs a bit of sorting out, but this has got 22 frets. Maple neck, I'm not really a fan of, but I want you guys to give me some input. Again, generic tuners, which we can replace out. With the heel that's been sanded down, once I smooth it off, I could always put a neck shim in. I've got plenty of them knocking around different sizes. So let me know if you want to see the Rosewood Strat, original Robson neck, or this Telecaster neck on the body. I can make them both fit. I actually think that will probably be a, a perfect fit. Maybe turn it into the Robster 2. Yep, we'll see. Tuners, I've got these Squire Affinity Telecaster Delap tuners off the newer model, which have got the generic Chinese style tuners, but they've got the vintage style split shaft, which I like, so they are gonna be going on. Now, one thing I will say, with the Robster headstock, I've got some black paint, I've got some clear coat, so I could sand that down, uh, spray it black, and maybe give it a light sanding on the old Robster logo so that pops through, I think that could be pretty cool. So yeah, I'll definitely be painting that black if you're wondering about the headstock. As we delve a little bit deeper into my stash of parts, I've got all sorts in here. Um, so setup wise, on the pit guard, I don't particularly like a volume pot there, so I'd like possibly volume tone control and maybe stick a toggle switch in, like a three-way toggle switch in sort of this position. In terms of the blade switches, I've only got the five-way ones. I'm not really keen on that sort of setup, so three-way toggle switch, or maybe I could put volume, toggle, tone, or volume, tone, toggle. I've done that kind of thing before, but again, I don't really want anything in there, but you know. Hardware, we've got basically everything. All sorts of pots, 500K, CTS pots, I've got the mini ones, but you know, they're not the best. I've got a black output jack, which I think will be going on. Got loads of loaded pick guards with original single coil pickups, so we've got plenty of them. I've got some better quality ones as well, so plenty of hardware knocking around. But for pickups, I've got this, I believe it's a Japanese Mustang neck pickup, which I've had knocking around 
and maybe we could go with that in the neck position or maybe even try it in the middle for something a bit different. I've also got some P90 pickups, so neck, bridge, whichever one. We've got them knocking around. I've got these Les Paul humbuckers. These are off a Epiphone, can't remember which one, but I'll put it up on the screen now. But these are could be pretty decent pickups and you can split call these if you want to as well. But for now, we're going to go with what we've got in terms of switching and stuff. I could always upgrade this later down the line. We've got tons of pickup covers. We've even got some gold ones. So plenty of stuff to play with. I actually think I've also got some gold telly knobs. I think I've got a gold tremolo somewhere. But yeah, loads of stuff we can put on this. Oh, and for ultimate gold bling, I've got these gold volume tone pots with the selector tip <laughs> which could be pretty cool but yeah let me know I've got some wiring looms for Les Pauls I've also got some witch hat knobs of a Epiphone we've got plenty of pickup choices different necks to put on pretty much going to stick with that pick guard I've also got some 10 gauge regular slinkies on a strat scale I normally go for nines but you know if we're playing a bit more of the grungier heavier stuff I probably want to go with the, uh, the tens for a you know a tighter sound but yeah let me know what you want to see in the comment section below so i aim to get this guitar build done in the coming week so hopefully you get to see this video and put some input of what you like to see on the guitar if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to keep up to date on the the build series subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell you can also follow me on instagram for update pictures and facebook the guitar manifesto if you're interested in seeing what gear i use in my videos pedals that kind of thing or gear i recommend check my amazon affiliate link in the description below also an affiliate link for reverb so if you're thinking about buying anything off them sites please use my link so it lets them know the guitar manifesto sent you there also there's links to merch and other things patreon that kind of stuff so that'll wrap it up for today and yeah it's going to be a cool series so thanks for watching see you all soon peace